Hey guys, and sorry for the camera shaking so much, but I'm gonna be driving while I go ahead and do this vlog, so sorry about that. You are now listening to 787 In The Mix. What's up, YouTube? This is your man, DJ787, bringing you gig log number four. So today's gig is a going away party. I was hired for four hours from 10.30 to 2.30 a.m. It's gonna be at a restaurant Actually, the client's brother owns the, resta the, the restaurant. So what they're gonna do is at 9.30, they're gonna go ahead and close everything. And then I'll go ahead and get there around 9.40ish, close to 10, set up everything and start rolling at 10.30 p.m. We're expecting to have 40 to 50 people tonight. I'm gonna be playing all types of music, Spanish, reggaeton, hip hop, 90s, 80s, like always wanna mix it up. And there's gonna be a lot of different uh, age, uh, ages within within the crowd. So the client did advise me that since they're European, they do like EDM music, which that's that's one of my favorite music to, make, to mix. With that being said, it's gonna be a small venue. It's not a, it's not a big restaurant. Uh, but still, you know, if we, if we able to get at least 40 or 50 people, it's, it's gonna be pretty packed. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna bring out the same equipment that, that I always bring out, which is gonna be my two 15 in, inch JBL Eon 615s with my Pioneer SB3 controller. And I'm also bringing my iMac. I'm gonna have four up lights, uh, two. Well, in this event, I'm gonna try to have three up lights facing the dance floor and then only one facing the DJ booth. As you read the description below on the video, it is my wedding anniversary. So I wanna go ahead and give a big shout out to my wife, Alba. I love you with all my heart. Thank you so much for supporting me, not only with the music, but with my career, you know, with my corporate job. Um, thank you for giving me two wonderful kids, my daughter and my son. You know, I. I Believe me, I pray to God every day and thanking God for having you in my life. And I really appreciate everything that you do for me. And thank you for um, dealing with me every day, which I know is, is not easy to do. So that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get the equipment in the car and start driving to the event. Catch you later. All right, guys. So it was an epic fail. Epic fail. And not because uh, the event was bad. It's because there was no event. So I received a call um, around 7.30 uh, from the client to let me know, hey, I had to cancel the event last minute due to a uh, pipe busting, a gas pipe being busted at the restaurant. You know, I'm totally bummed out. Um, obviously he already paid the, the deposit, which, you know, I can't refund that. He told me, you know, that's fine. I totally understand, uh, but Unfortunately, the event cannot happen today. You know, what I said was, you know, you know I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, if you ever decide to have the event again, just let me know. I'll be happy to work with you. Woo, woo, woo. He said, that sounds great. Thank you so much. And that was the end of it. So that was on 730. I was on my way to a baby shower with my kids, my two kids and my wife at the time. So. I didn't think nothing of it until my wife and my daughter started just putting some wood on the fire. Just saying, hey, maybe it wasn't true. Or maybe you found someone else that did it for cheaper or did it for free, whatever the case may be. Uh, maybe. And I wasn't really paying attention to the noise, but at the end of the night, once we left the baby shower, I was like, you know what? Let's just go to the place and see if it's true. Now keep in mind, this was a gas pipe that busted, supposedly. So if that if that would have happened to a restaurant or a pub or a club, whatever the case may be, they have to shut down the entire place. So once we drove there, the place was open. I mean, like nothing happened. I did notice that it was empty, but it had a big old open sign flashing like it was it was open for business you know i'll give the benefit of the doubt 
you know, maybe something did happen. You know, maybe it wasn't the, the gas pipe. Maybe something personal happened that my client just didn't feel comfortable. What makes it worse is during the week, I think it was on Wednesday, a client needed a DJ for his wedding. And I had to say no just because I had this gig already planned out. To make it worse, since it was a wedding, it was gonna be a lot more money, which I lost. But it is what it is. And also, while, while I have you here, what's going on with Thumbtack? I mean, if, if you guys, if you DJs out there have Thumbtack, let me know how your business is going with, with Thumbtack. And the thing about this is, I'm receiving private messages from people that never reply back. And it's for stupid things. Like I had one message me just to ask me, do, do you have insurance? And I say, yes, I do have insurance. And I saw the date that he was trying to get a DJ for. And I said, and if you're looking for a DJ for your event on this date, I am available. He never replied back, never, never. Now I had another one that I actually had two where this client will go ahead and call me or not call me but direct message me through Thumbtack which every contact that they send you a message I mean that first initial contact Thumbtack would charge you like $17 to $25 depending where you have your budget at and contacted me say I need a DJ for this date are you above I'm like yes I went through the whole spill hey this is the deposit fee. I'll send you the service contract, give you everything. That client say, yes, that's fine. Here's my email, send me the paperwork. I'll sign it and send you the deposit through uh, Venmo or uh, Venmo, whatever, whatever it's called or Cash App or PayPal, whatever, you know, whatever options that, that, that they're gonna be able to do it. I'm like, cool, fine. I sent her the information and this happened twice maybe three times i sent her the information right two days have gone by nothing has been sent out to me I haven't received no payment to go ahead and save the date i sent her an email hey um just checking up on you were, were you able to review my contract are you still needing my service for for this date i sent her an email and sent her a message through thumbtack never replied back nothing and when and this is why thumbtack is getting so many bad reviews i'm like is this a scam i mean is, is this actually a good app to have to really generate leads because to me right now i'm i believe it's a scam to be honest with you i'm 99 percent sure that it's a scam i mean you might have some real human beings you know some people that might need business but it's very weird that everyone, well not everyone, but a lot of people would just send you a message and never reply back to let you know, I need you or I don't need you. And the thing is like, once I do my other social media projects that I have that I send out like different flyers and I put myself out there, Craig, uh, uh, Craigslist and things like that, when people contact me, I want to let them know everything. Oh, they, they don't reply back within, I would say, four or five days. I just do like a quick check up. Hey, are you, are you still interested? How are things going? Whatever the case may be. And they actually reply back and just say oh, either, yeah, we're still not sure if we need a DJ or no, you know what, well, we found someone else. I'm sorry. I'm like, no, that's totally fine. I just want to go out and make sure that you, know, you have someone. And that's it. People in Thumbtack, they don't do that. I mean, some people will. I mean, if they hire you, obviously they will go ahead and kind of maintain that communication with you. But if they just, and like I say, it's just random questions, you know, uh, do you have insurance? I'm like, okay, that's random. There was another one that said, do you speak Spanish? I'm like, yeah, I speak Spanish and I play Spanish music and I never got a response back. I mean, it's like, what the heck? I mean, what's going on? You know, and the thing is, once they send that message, Thumbtack will go ahead and charge you automatically 17, 20, 25, 30 bucks. You know, you know, that's crazy. You know, just to ask you if you have insurance or if you're if you speak Spanish. I mean, okay. I, I replied back. Are you gonna? Re I mean, I'm, I'm 
trying to get a response from the customer and there's never a response. And, and like I said, this only happens with Thumbtack. No other method of promotion that I use, customers that actually get in contact with me, contact with me, they will either reply back, I don't I don't need a DJ anymore, or you know, I'm looking into it or we still haven't made a decision, which I'm fine with that. At least that will let me know what's what's going on. But Thumbtack has been the only app that clients, supposedly clients, that are looking for a service, DJs, will never respond back once they ask you a stupid question. And it's like, what the heck? So to me, Thumbtack, to me it's a scam. And what I've, what I've done right now is I pretty much lowered my budget to the minimum that, they, uh, that you require for a DJ. I lowered my budget to a minimum. The instant match stuff, I took that off too. I mean, that was just wasted money. Instant match is just wasted money. You know why? Because they were going to send all of those quotes for you, right? And then out of those 25 quotes that I might have sent, only like five leads will come up. And out of those five leads, three of three of them were people just asking random stupid questions that never reply back. The other two. One of them said, oh, okay, thank you. I'll go ahead and keep your mind, which I'm fine with that. And the other one, I was, I was able to go ahead and, and get the gig. But it's crazy. It's the match. I mean, I truly think it's not worth it, uh, to be honest with you. And right now I have it where if someone is in, is, is in church of a, search of a DJ, I will go ahead and get a message and let me know. And also, I will also get an email to let me know what they're looking for, the place, the location, the hours, and, and if it's a birthday party, a wedding, prom, whatever the case may be. But it's the match. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, it's just a waste of money, to be honest with you. If you're seeing your business grow with Thumbtack, you know, make sure to let me know. Make sure you put a comment. I mean, I, I believe uh, other DJs need this, this, this information. Uh, and the thing is, Thumbtack doesn't have many good reviews. I mean, it's like a 50-50, but if you look at the reviews, you see more people really towards the negative side of Thumbtack because it's true, you just get random people. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy how, uh, it's just crazy how it's just, it's just random questions which doesn't make sense. And that's the thing, it doesn't make sense. So, that's it for me guys like i said if you, if you if you have any type of success with thumbtack let me know place your comment below let me know how, how your business has gone has grown since since you've gotten thumbtack it's a worth spending almost a hundred dollars maybe over a hundred dollars like this week i spent almost 133 dollars in leads and only getting hired once i don't know and i know some people say well it's your pricing it's not the pricing because they do have like a recommendation where you can go ahead and put your prices on and I'm literally right there you know and to be honest with you with Thumbtack there's a I don't know there's some pretty low budget DJs there it's crazy I've seen a DJ there that will do four a four hours set for 200 bucks I mean like that's dirt sheet I mean I don't know I wouldn't do that to myself I know I'm I'm worth more than that so I'm not gonna put myself out there for four hours set for 200 bucks. I'm sorry, but I'm not. It is what it is. Like I said, if, if you have seen progress in your business with Thumbtack, if you get hired a lot through. Once again, if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and hit that bell so you can get notified of any future videos. This is your man, DJ787. Y'all have a blessed day.